Okay, so one of the things that concerns me about modern Christianity is that the tradition, being founded over 2,000 years ago, fails to mention certain things that I think are now important. It seems to me that the atom bomb, safe and widely available contraception, interplanetary rocketry, and the computer and the accompanying specter of strong AI are the fundamental game changers. I think these merit a place in our symbolic cosmology. Yet religion in general has failed to integrate them and popular culture has filled the gap often with symbols that are hostile to religion. I think that this is a fundamental assault on the foundation of religion. What kind of path forward do you see regarding this issue? Okay, so okay, so I would say that um, first thing I would say is that I don't think that it's true that those things are missing from the Christian tradition. Um, I think they are indeed there in the Christian tradition. I just think that people don't know how to look for them, don't can't recognize them um, when they see them. Now, of course, not the specifics, not an atom bomb, or you know, not not specifics in the sense of of um, of the actual technology, like a cell phone. No, the, the, the you know the the uh, the the Bible does not or the Christianity does not talk about the cell phone. But I have been advocating for a while now uh, to re to, for people to rediscover the, the traditions that come out of Enoch, that come out of the book of Enoch. You know, there are some things in the book of Enoch which are, which have been rejected by the fathers, which, which are not, I would say, are not compatible with Christianity today, but I think that there are some things in those traditions that are extremely important to understand. Now, the, the book of Enoch tells the story of the fall, basically. That image that I told you about, how there's the fall and then there's a a, a process of, of uh, ac accelerating fall, which leads all the way to the flood. Okay. Now, this process of ac accelerated fall is characterized by different things. It is characterized by a mixture between the humans and the angels. And so angels have children with the, 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 the human females and they it creates uh, monsters. And th these fallen angels are demons. And so these demons have offspring. And these offspring are these giants, these monsters, and the demons also teach the human beings how to modify nature. Okay, uh, and that includes uh, technology, that includes magic, um, and it also includes uh, funny things like uh, teaching women to wear makeup um, and uh, and and necromancy. Uh, all of those, all of those, all of those really fun things. So <laughs> uh, I think it says even how, women how to paint their nails in some of the versions. Like it teaches women how to paint their nails. Um, and so this idea of how a fall is a is a modification of nature, and that this modification of nature leads to several things it leads to um weapons of destruction you see it in tubal Cain. it leads to massive weapons which become more and more destructive it also leads to um it leads to a form of <laughs> to a form of uh sexual debauchery which is also there in the story of this fall. And it also leads to a form of it. You could see it as leading to a form of infertility as well. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, uh, some of the traditions talk about how the, the, um, the giants created hybrids and created all these 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 chimera these monsters by mixing different animals together and creating all these different these different types of monsters you know and and you can see that happening right now i mean we can see that that there is a lack of metaphysical 
reason why we are doing certain things. And because of that, there's all these crazy activities which are happening, the consequences of which no one knows what they are because they're not doing it out of out of an attachment to logos. They're not doing it out of an attachment to something higher, but they've attached themselves to all these demons, all these little principalities, all these little knowledges. And, and it's like they dive into these, these little knowledges and now they're creating different technologies that are going in different directions and they, they, they're incapable of seeing the big picture, incapable of understanding how, how, for example, they were incapable of understanding what contraception would do to the world, what it would do to relationships, what it would do to society, what it would do to civilization. They just incapable of understanding that. But but because a demon, <laughs> because a demon possessed the demon of 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 uh, of of sex, the demon of desire, the demon of pleasure, all that that became the prime focus. Then we 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 jump in and we act based on that, and we don't. Um, and we, 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 we stop seeing the big picture. Um, and it's the same for something like, uh, these crazy technologies like the atom bomb or artificial intelligence. You know, um, I always tell people, if you want to understand, you know, this, the story of the book of Enoch and this notion of, of, uh, of a uh, of a demon or a manifestation of a demon or the manifestation of a of a, a fallen angel and a, and a kind of a, of a, a kind of monstrous body. It's like that comes. That's pretty close to what <laughs> artificial intelligence could be. Now, it doesn't mean it's only going to be that, and and doesn't mean that out of that isn't going to come the solution. Because in the story of Genesis, there's also a hint as to how all of this can then be flipped out of the fall. And so Noah, in many traditions, is said to be married to Nama, who is the the uh, the sister of Tubal Cain. And so she Nama is a descendant of, of Cain. And so this tradition that talks about how Noah married Nama is there to show how even though mixture in the whole process, this mixture between the different people and the, the mixture between uh, the people and, and the, 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 the principalities is what's creating all these monsters that Noah, it's by marrying a daughter of Cain and also by being a, a technical person, by, by building an ark, that's how he's able to then preserve the whole thing. And so, but then... So, so there is it. So the tradition does actually talk about everything that's happening today. It's it's been talked about in 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 our tradition. It's just we just need to be to know how to look for it, and also to be able to 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 uh, let's say understand it. And so the the image, like I told you, this image of the New Jerusalem, for example, is this image of how. Even our technologies, even our, you know, even our kind of technical understanding could be transformed and could participate in this massive, let's say this filling up of the world with meaning. But it's not going to happen if we are attached only to the demons, if we're only attached to the principalities, and if we're only following mammon, if we're only interested in money, if we're only following our our our, uh, our desire to have an easier life or our desire to to uh, you know to uh, <clears throat> have this or that power on these or th these or those people, and so you know until until there is a awakening and people come together and see the big picture then i then i'm sad to say that i think that our that our technologies although they 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 can be helpful that they're they're the ones who are going to also bring us into uh <laughs> into uh into darkness you could say so so yeah so i hope that's helpful you know and we're seeing it right now we're seeing it happen right now you know um I'm probably going to do a video on this very soon. Talk about this whole system, like the problem of we're seeing it with Patreon and we're seeing it with with these deplatforming and of how and and also that the credit card companies and the banking system that are becoming ideologically possessed 
that is very frightening. So we have all these systems of financial control and all these systems of financial transactions. And, and we've kind of given our, so we've given our, our autonomy to these systems that are, that are kind of techno bureaucratic systems. But, um, once they become possessed by a demon, then we're, we're in serious trouble. Like we are in serious trouble if that happens. And it, it does kind of seem to be happening, uh, at the time. And David Flores says the mark of the beast. And yes, it does indeed have to do with the mark of the beast. So I'll probably will. I, I'm hoping to do a video on that because the mark of the beast and, and also 666, it's a, it's a, it's a very important, uh, it's a, it's a very important aspect of symbolism that I think would be helpful for people to to understand today instead of, you know, just attributing it randomly like we, we often see, you know, all, people, th their intuition is right sometimes. Like their intuition about what that's talking about is is right. But people tend to to be too, too uh, narrow in uh, in what it what it refers to and what pattern it's participating in. So. So probably you might see a, a, a video on, on 666, the mark of the beast, pretty soon. I'm hesitating to do it just because of what it looked like. You see the title, you know, the symbolism of 666. <laughs>